Good morning, good morning, y'all. Um, yes, good morning, good morning. Wet and nasty out today. Y'all know that's not my favorite, but good thing we rocking the wet hair because I would be having a fit if not. <laughs> oh gosh, I finally made my appointment, but it won't be until a week from today, y'all. So I will be rocking this look again and gonna have to invest in some more mousse to continue to um keep it up so yeah headed in just gonna do a few hours in the office and come on back home and close it out um unfortunately my daughter was in an accident and so um i just want to get back home and make sure she's okay she is okay airbags did come out she was a passenger um but the scary part is that she passed out she passed out during this ordeal. You crazy to turn that light, turn on that light. Um, and so, yeah, I wound up being in the ER with her where they did, uh, of course, a CAT scan of her head and her neck and everything because her pain was about an eight is what she told them. So um, pretty scary to say the least. Um, but God, to God be the glory, she is here today. And everybody, and the other person, the driver was fine as well. Well, I don't know. I haven't heard anything bad. So assuming that that they're okay. So um, headed in, like I said, it's going to be quiet in the office, but a little bit busy. Got some st things to catch up on. And um, so, but yeah. But let me tell y'all about these YouTube streets. Y'all, YouTube might be small and YouTube might be big and you will never know who knows who. Let's just say that. So I happen to be up this morning, pick up my phone and I see um, a friend. I'm, I can't I can't even say that a friend. I Let me take that back. So I lost my best friend uh, probably, um, it's probably been eight years eight years now and um and i am uh, very close to her family and so we share page on facebook we have there's a family page that i'm included in but i happened to see one of the cousins traveling and the person sitting next to her looks so familiar to me and she used her she used her first name but it was a different name like last name and it's not the name that's on youtube but I'm like, this person looks like somebody I know and I share a name with. <laughs> so it turns out that it was the YouTuber Mia Chanel. And so I reached out to cousin and I said, is that Mia Chanel? And she was like, she was like, yes, um, that's my best friend. And I was like, oh. I was like, I'm sorry, traffic. This is a school zone. So traffic is trying to come across all kinds of ways. Um, so she was like, that's my best friend. When she's talking about Ashley on her channel, she's talking about me. Y'all, if that ain't small, I don't know what it is because we, we don't live in the same city, but they do. And I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me that this world is that small this youtube world is big but small if y'all know what i mean so it was so exciting to hear that just you know be able to connect another kind of way but yeah we are just what do they call it 360 you know like it's just i don't know how you say it but y'all know what i'm talking about it was just a shocker like and i started following mia mia chanel's uh page from Kimberly being Kimberly just being Kimberly I started following her well I was part of a group with Kimberly and that's how I found out about Mia Chanel I'm just flabbergasted I'm just flabbergasted and excited at the same time and I will get to see cousin in July when she comes here to visit family so I'm very excited about that because I haven't seen her in a long time but we you know stay in touch and you know click the like and love all the time on each other's page so yeah very excited about that but yeah small world y'all small world but yeah um just 
wanted to pop in, say hey, and um, hope your morning is off to a great start and talk about these YouTube streets, y'all. So I will touch base later. I'm wishing you guys a great rest of your day. Hey guys, in the office today, enjoying the peace and quiet of no one being here. Um, it's nice. Sometimes it's just even nice to get away from your home office if you have to work from home. Um, because you can get easily distracted. But I am here. It's like I said, it's after 10 and the day is going by fast. But I am trying to keep my sanity because I'm sure we all can relate to that one person on your team that drives you up the damn wall and I'm just gonna keep it up drive me up the damn wall and I've had enough I've had enough and I'm not going to take it anymore I am going to speak up for myself and and we'll keep climbing until something is done about it because they need to know that their behavior is not okay it's I wish I could get into detail but I just don't know who watches my channel I don't have a lot of people here at work that know about my channel but until I'm not here I can't speak on it so I have to wait to give detail but just know, you know, if you if you listen to my girl, Christy, we all got a peanut on our team. And um, she was able, her, her peanut moved on, so she don't have that aggravation anymore. But this one ain't going nowhere. I don't know if her plot is to push you out the way, whatever. There's no competition. Um, maybe in her head there is, I don't know. In mine, I'm just your peer and you are not my manager so stop telling me what to do stop going behind me finding things get a life and that's all i got to say on that y'all get a life because it's sad that this is your life this is your life you don't have no outside um, bonds, friendships that keep you balanced home and work home and work, that's it and that's not good you have to have some type of relationship with other people other than home and work so I, I've been letting it sit right here but it's way over here and I'm done and I don't know if it's my age but Mm -mm. Not this black woman. Not here. No. And what's crazy is, you're a minority. Just like me. Just like me. So, I don't know if you think I'm seeking your job. Boo-bye. Because I'm going I'm to elevate above you before I want your job. I just had to come on here and vent get it out because I'm over it I'm over it do you hear me done that's it y'all thank you for letting me have this pitch session because I needed it I never drink an extra large coffee I have finished an extra large coffee there are times when I can never finish a large and I finished the extra large so you already know what that's saying wasn't tired and I should be just frustrated and over it good morning good morning good morning yes God thank you Jesus for this day Lord nice out today I think we're supposed to have a high of 77 y'all yes I'm still rocking this wet look gray still coming in I am actually thinking like maybe it's time to maybe it's time to highlight the gray instead of all this blonde let's just highlight the gray comment down below what y'all think because 
I'm thinking that might be it. This is a lot of drama right here and I better pay attention because folks just merging in like, <laughs> you see me? Um, yes, had a great day yesterday. Church flow was amazing. I'm telling you, when you can get that word in to, to start your week, ain't nothing like it. Nothing like it. I swear it's not. Um, posted a little picture of me when I got home on the balcony. I guess you guys will see that if you follow me on Instagram. Um, but yeah, had a really nice day. Didn't do a lot. Y'all, this is the only hand that looked like normal. The other hand, I should be embarrassed. That was the only thing messing up my church flow. <laughs> it was a hot mess. So, um, yeah. I don't want to get them done right now. I kind of just want them all to just kind of fall off and do their own thing. Um, because um, I'm packing. And it makes no sense to even stress and, and worry myself about that. So, um, yeah. I'm not going to be worrying about that right now. Even though, yes, I want them done. Even though, yes, they look hideous. But sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So, but yeah, it's beautiful outside. I need to actually pop a little air in here. Oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Crack a little air in here. There we go. And um, so it can be breathable. So I'll start my darn hacking. I got my coffee, got my water jar but I don't have anything for lunch. So I have no idea what I'm going to do. And y'all know I, I cannot stay in that cafeteria. And my go-to, my saving grace would be like um, the mozzarella sticks. Well, they done even started messing those up. I don't know if they switched the brand, went to Aldi's and got some instead of Sam's Club. I don't know what they did. <laughs> They all, they're like this big, where they used to be like a nice, really nice size. They were flavorful, where to the point where I'm not a big sauce dipper person, and I didn't even have to dip them. So, yeah, these were bursting out the seams, tiny, and I didn't even have the strength in me to go back downstairs and say, what the hell is this? And usually on the app that we use to get half off, um... It, it, it um, emails us right away as soon as we use the app because it knows that we've purchased something asking us our opinion on what we've purchased or the overall service itself. I didn't even have the, I didn't even have the uh, patience to even feel that out. I just was just over it. I was like, whatever. Y'all know what the hell y'all selling down here. Crap. That's what it is. So forgot my favorite chips. I used, I was going to bring my chips and maybe think of a sandwich. I don't know. We will just have to see. Um, I'm just going to have to see how the flow goes. I would love to order me some Jimmy Jobs, but I hate ordering it at the job and um, by myself. Because usually around the house, I would just go and pick it up. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. So, I got on my a little um, leisure suit that I ordered from Timu that I had on one of my Timu um, hauls for you guys. So I have that on because on Mondays it's pretty quiet. This is a nice material for the weather that we're having today. So it's almost like a little too casual, but I'm going to get away with it. I'm going to get away with it. So if we can wear jeans, and as long as they're not holy jeans, then I should be okay to wear this leisure suit, which I really need to invest in some other colors because this is perfect to just throw on, put a tank top underneath, and keep it moving. Only thing I'm worried about is if my arms will be chilly in the office, and um, I'm sure I got something in there, in um, on the back of my chair that'll keep my arms warm if I do get cold. So I'm actually a little bit earlier than I usually am leaving out because I'm just trying to be proactive and just get her done, get it in, and get her done. So um, yeah. I hope you guys are having a great start to your day. I hope you praised the Lord yesterday to get you ready for this week. Because, y'all, if you if you start like that, gosh, you can end like that. So, my little tidbit for the day. <laughs> my little tidbit for the day. Um, so, have a great day, and I will check in with you guys later, maybe once I get in the office. All right? Morning flow, y'all. Ooh, baby, I'm so
Decided because I'm doing so good on time that I want to stop at Panera so um, I love their bear claws I already have my coffee so um, I'm gonna get a bear claw so that's what I'm looking forward to I hope they don't have nothing on this breakfast menu that's gonna tempt me and make me want something else because <laughs> um, I'm already seeing the morning scramble but that's that's too much going on um, yeah so far that's all I see if I was a person that likes strawberries, that better with berry salad looks really good with chicken. Strawberry poppy seed salad with chicken. That looks really good, but I don't like strawberries. So, yeah, I see some breakfast sandwiches up there, guys. Let's see. Can you have a of Panera? Give me one second, okay? No problem. So y'all, this um, they got a nice little array of breakfast sandwiches. This sausage, scrambled egg, and cheese looks really good on an Asiago bagel. But I wouldn't want that. See, I'm I'm old school. I would want that on a croissant sandwich. But I don't know, y'all. Six seventy nine for a. Uh, can I get a um a um bear claw, please? That's all I want. No, nope, that'll be y'all. Yes. All right. You have a Panera card. You have to give your phone number. So I had to mute you guys because I got enough folk watching me. I don't need them to know my phone number too. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So yeah, I'm getting my, um, at least get something that you want to start the week. You know, <clears throat> that's what I say. Get what you need to start the week. So, yep, I, I'm so excited. So excited. I haven't had one in a long time. Usually, I buy the coffee cake. You always see me, guys, do see me. Ugh. You guys always see me doing my grocery haul, buying the coffee cake from the grocery store. But this is what is really my favorite more than that coffee cake. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm Good morning. I have 12. Okay. Or at least 25. Mm -hmm. I need all that change back. Who, who does not like to have a lot of change? I know I don't. <clears throat> Hoping I can. Oh, you're not supposed to turn out that way. Hmm, okay. So they make you wrap all the way around to get out. Interesting. I need y'all to design it a little different. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right, y'all. Let's get her done and get in the office. For those who know, you know, I had to bring my daughter out here to Deerfield and this is just like deja vu, not even deja vu. It's like, it's kind of eerie just being out here. Um, this is when I worked out at Jim Beam and to see this whole area again, um, it's just weird. Like, I could not believe the address was to come on Lake Cook Road. And I'm like, okay, that address sounds familiar. Totally not thinking when the GPS brought us here. And so, yes, we are out here for her to take care of some business and to see the building that I used to work in for four and a half years. 
and where I learned about the whole liquor industry, the portfolios of Jim Beam, not just Jim Beam, is just like, it's, it's just nice to just think about memories, memories of everything that I experienced in that building. And just to miss it and to miss the camaraderie of corporate America, which at that time, I guess whenever you start in a company, you it seems like you start when it's at its, its, it's at its peak and it's so much fun and you get to experience everything that it's going through until um, it starts to change upper management. And, you know, we all understand how corporate America works when it starts to change. I'm trying to find somewhere to put you guys up. Um, we all understand how it works when when it changes in corporate America. And when it's just not the same, it doesn't feel the same. And it's that that was probably. Was that my like first corporate America kind of big corporate America job? And to experience everything I was able to experience with that job, I cannot even begin to tell you from going down to Kentucky to the plants and watching how um, Maker's Mark was made and how Jim Beam, you know, the, how, how all of it is, is made. It's just amazing in itself. And to experience that, I can't even, there's no words. 